Hello everybody, this is Tonton here and welcome back to another Tonton Talk Show. And today I have an update for you which considering of the upcoming direction of the Studio Series line which I found really interesting. So as we all know, the Studio Series line has always focused on the aspect of our light transformer live action movie. But upon this list that we just got, I think that this is really interesting because they have a brand new direction for the line. And that by focusing the production lines into the Transformer G1 the movie from 1986. And upon this list, I can conclude that they are trying to finish to wrap up the Siege and Earthrise line for characters that would be appearing in any of those shows. So by adding them to the studio series line. Because the problem is that I know that a lot of people would want a brand new G1 collection. And so Hasbro gave it to them by adding them to the studio series line. So first off, we got Hot Rod. And I know that there are some, some quiet rumors about that guy on the internet. And so I think he's going to be a leader. And of course we have Cup. This is a Deluxe. And then Jazz. This is interesting. This confirms that Jazz will be appearing in Earthrise and Kingdom as well. And we have a leader Grimlock. And a leader Slug with Daniel. So I think that would be the case of Slug being a little bit smaller than Grimlock. And then include Daniel as well. So he become a leader. And then of course we got Blur. I think Blur is going to be kind of the same as size as Cup, will be the same engineering as well. We have Scourge, which is a Voyager, and we have Starscream. So the Starscream case is interesting. In my guess is that he's going to be the same Starscream from Earthrise, modify a little bit, and then maybe giving him his crown and cape. That would be really nice to see. And of course we have Gnaw, this is the guy from the Quintessor set, he's going to be a Deluxe. But then of course we still got some movies figures to cover. So here we have Deluxe Class Jolt. So this is the character that appears in Revenge of the Fallen and the only notable thing about him is gonna be merging Optimus and Jetfire together. So my guess is that this guy will have an electric whip made from rubbery and it might be painted. And so I'm quite looking forward for him to complete my scene of Jetfire and Optimus combining. That would be really nice to see. We have Deluxe Class Dino, again I think an interesting guy only appears in Drug of the Moon and then disappear. Then Sideswipe, Sideswipe is going to be exciting because we all know that his previous studio series version is the one from Drug of the Moon. So my suspect is that he's going to be the Revenge of the Fallen version then with the roof of the car. So that is quite a case because of the backpack but then yeah they're just going to keep pumping out the characters. And of course we got another studio series version of Bumblebee. This is a deluxe Bumblebee with Sam. So I don't think it's gonna be like Human Alliance. I think this is the studio Bumblebee repackage and then without the gun and with the normal Bumblebee face with Sam. And about Sam, I don't think that he's gonna be a uh, action figure. I think he's gonna be the same with the parachute guy from Shock website. So that is quite interesting. And finally we have another masterpiece Bumblebee. So about G1 Bumblebee, I don't think they will make that anymore because we are out of G1 Bumblebee at the moment. We have two versions and the previous, the 2.0 version of Bumblebee just got released last year. So I don't think this could be the case. But in my opinion, I think this could be the case of the live action Bumblebee, which might be the old Camaro versions or the Age of Extinction black and yellow versions. But for that, we have to wait and see. So that is all we got for this list. So that is my Tonton Review Talk Show today. I hope you got some update about the figures and everything. And I'm going to be back with a modeling with Tonton soon. This you guys asked for me for the rusting effect. So I'm going to do that. So that could be it. Tonton out.